Hey everybody, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to EA Tetragrammaton, where we are playing Ur. This is turn 179. Let's jump into things. Okay, so a bunch of stuff going on here. We'll do a quick, like, cursory scenario um, over the generalized things. Uh, the first and foremost is, is we get a report from Hall Woods where we have been flames from the sky. A little bit of our own taste of our own medicine. All that jazz. So, um, got smacked in the face my music is dropped oh it's starting to just sorry easily distracted i apologize um so we got kind of smacked in the face uh a lot of units hit a lot of units um killed which is rough because we don't have a whole lot in hall woods um that's gonna be pretty bad for us we did a whole bunch of summoning uh, we cast our own Flames from the Sky at Kailasa, killing 64 units. I kind of... So I had been thinking about this for a while. And I'm not going to really, like, spoil it or anything like that. Because this is going to happen in a couple turns, I'm sure. But uh, I kind of wish I had not been doing these Flames from the Sky. Some of them were potentially good, but others were very costly and not overly effective this is one of the ones that you know this costs a lot of gems and it's not overly effective um so i kind of wish that i had not uh done this one but it is what it is uh we have only one remote assassination this this turn or assassination period and that is an arrow um but we have a very good survival ratio with these guys so no issues there good good uh, we have been attacked by several horrors. Uh, Eater of Gods here kills an Ishib. Soul Torn here kill an Ishib. A Mind Slime Horror kills a Gudu here. Uh, we've got one with an Apkalu there. And then a Lich is killed by Horror Mantises. So the Apkalu is the only one that we really care about. That's seven Soul Torns. That's a fair number of Soul Torns. But we did put guards on the Apkalu. I think we put a lot of guards on the Apkalu. Um, and those guards are able to cut down the soul torrents, which is good. Uh, so we do not lose that Apkalu while we're summoning an Oogaloo. Very nice. Um, no battles against Relay this turn. Only battles against Lanka. And I don't think there were any big battles this turn, so I think we're just going to blitz through all of these. Uh, a little bit of raiding in Jiboro... Um, here, I'll just do this. Uh, raiding in Sinkhole Swamp. Uh, we took out a small amount of undead in Oak Hills. That's pretty good for us. Uh, got hit in Mag. Lost that. Hit in Greenwoods successfully. Uh, lost Urful. Got hit in World Pillar. Lost that. Got hit in Golden Tova. Lost that. Took Fever Fins back. Got hit in Carrion. Uh, we took Cloudbreakers, we got hit in Delufe, lost the Womb, we bounced off of Assad, and this is kind of unfortunate. Um, and this is, I like to watch these, because I like to kind of like see, oh, this is a, this is a straight matchup, why did we lose this, right? Um, and it's the same basic reasons, um, that we always kind of get into. So we did a bunch of Hordes of Skeleton spam, so did they, and then... I believe these individuals are still on. Yeah. Oh, but so are they. I was going to say, I believe these individuals are still on um, move closer and cast spells. Uh, but it looks like so So is theirs. Um, and it's, it's really, this is just super close. This just comes down to being very, very close. He gets a couple of... Oh, oh. We're, fi we're fighting over the control of the freaking... Wow. And then this one in the back. That's, that's funny. That's really funny. Anyone at any time could have just wither bones that guy. That's funny. That was a really interesting battle. Uh, control undead going back and forth there. Mostly that was just luck. Um, the AI could have cast a, a series of different spells, chose to cast the, the spells that they did, got unlucky 
on certain things, and that's pretty interesting. All right, we bounce on Bell. Um, we ran into a pretty big group of undead. Uh, did kill a couple, which is nice, but no, no real victory there. Uh, we got taken out, or we got raided in Wood Emitting Paths. We raided in Omia. Uh, we got raided in Greendale. We raided in Old Man Mountains and in Wick. Got hit in Simri, lost that. Got hit in Eol, lost that. We attacked in Operi and won that. Big group in Hall Woods. So we do see this. We know what is there. And this is... This is important. If we lose Hall Woods... Where it's not immediate game over, but it's very close, right? So he's got a lot here, um, comparatively, compared to like what we're, we're dealing with these days. And my assumption is, is he's probably going to try to bring in more stuff. So we're going to have to see how, how it goes. Uh, he's got a Mandeha, that's nasty. He's got a crap ton of Liches and Vampire Lords, uh, very nasty. A couple of Golems, Crystal Mage... For earth stuff, I'm assuming. Pretty cool. Gnome for earth stuff. Or, or uh, nature stuff, probably. Good stuff. Um, but mostly just long dead. He does have some storm demons here. So uh, maybe we will be able to do something with that. Uh, we attack in Hidden Realm. Raid there and win. We raid in Bakar and win. Uh, we bow. No, we succeed in um, Underspring, but this is one of those kind of like Pyrrhic victories, I believe. Because I think this is, yeah, this is a Golem, and I'm pretty sure he Soul Slays one of the... Yeah. Yep. He gets one of the Vampire Lords on the first cast, and then we, you know, we win just because we have more Vampire Lords at this point. But that's a Pyrrhic victory. Um, we lose in Mighty Pillars. We lose in Wick Force. We lose in Kunaral. Um, and we lose in Kailasa. So we launched this at Kailasa. I think we probably killed some of our own stuff here. Um, which was just a really dumb move. I'm not really sure why we did that. A lot of these turns that I've taken through this chunk in the... in in this kind of like 10-ish turn um, scenario, basically since we got to the point to where we're, we're pretty rated down, um, a lot of these happened during the holidays and during the... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? During the great explosion of the servers when Drithal was working on the servers, etc., etc. Right? Um, so there was like a good three weeks or so where the servers were up and down and up and down and up and down. So a lot of these turns, I took a lot of these turns in very like broken segments and made a lot of weird choices or just like kind of like threw my hands up and like a fuck it, I'm done, you know, type type situation. So this casting flames from the sky at Kailasa for this situation was kind of one of those things. It, there wasn't really a purpose to it. I kind of wish I had not done that. Um, other than that, we have um, Unrest in Force of Springs. Lose some gold in Operi. Great. And then we're under siege in a lot of different places. Uh, wood Halls, or Hall Woods being the big, big deal. So, um, that's kind of the big thing. We're, we've got to try to defend Wood Halls, right? Um, I've got a couple of other things that I'm working towards, so let's check those. Oh, um, just as a heads up. The ratio this turn was 13 wins, 18 losses. So, not horrendous, but not very good. Definitely losing out slowly but surely. Um, in rituals and forging, not really a whole lot of forging going on this turn, but we do have a number of rituals that we're doing. We're summoning another Apkalu, um, hopefully. We're doing a Lichcraft, we're doing multiple Kusarikus, so I'll, I'll just go in the order. We have one Apkalu, we have one Lichcraft, we have a Gateway, and we'll talk more about that later. Uh, we have two Kusarikus, we have a Cloud Trapeze, we have a Naiad Warriors casting, and we have a Flames from Afar casting. Um, since we just talked about the Flames from Afar, let's go ahead and talk about that again. Um, 
I'm here in Raphabolia casting flames from the sky at Caves of Madness. And this, again, this is a very kind of like dumb move. Why am I doing this? And it's partially because I'm worried that he's going to come at Realm of Silence. So every time I see a big stack, I'm taking the opportunity to snipe it. But it's not really effective. It's not really a good use of my gems, especially not my fire gems, which are, are some of the actually probably more important gems that I have access to at this particular moment. Um, so I kind of wish that I wasn't doing this, but this is this turn is done in the past, so I can, cannot make that uh, decision anymore. So it is what it is. Um, and then we'll talk about the gateway here in a second and the cloud trapeze here in a second. Basically, uh, we're going to try to defend Hall Woods with everything we've got. Um, he's got a very large stack here of 350. Um, there's another stack of 90 over here that I do kind of expect him to reinforce with. I can't really do anything about that. Um, but I have a lot of vampires in the area. So um, I'm actually sending about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 vampires onto Hall Woods. Which is not going to break this siege. It's not. It's not going to be successful um, in defeating these individuals, right? Um, there's help. Seventeen vampire lords here on its own, plus another eighteen liches. But what it might be able to do is it might be able to whittle down some of this base long dead, and very specifically, if we jump in on this battle. This guy has gems. Uh, that guy does not. There's another guy that I saw that has gems. This guy has gems. This guy has gems. This guy has gems. Um, this lich has gems. Right? And I could have sworn there was someone else that had a fair amount of gems. Um, so, my point is, is is I'm trying to burn whatever gems he has in the hopes that, you know, that is gonna, that is gonna serve as a good, good way for me to find victory. And by find victory, I mean, we burn his shit, um, and then he attacks us, and what we have here is able to hold him off with some reinforcements. So the other thing we're going to do is we're also going to break siege with a wind of death um, caster. Uh, I don't, I, it might help. It might not. We'll see. Uh, it doesn't really matter too terribly much. Um, and then we have cloud trapeze with an oogaloo that's going to come in. And this oogaloo and this apkalu are the quote unquote reinforcements. So the oogaloo is coming in just to do uh, summon Storm Power, Storm, and then Fog Warriors, right? Um, in an effort to try to get some sort of buffs up on us. Um, Fog Warriors is pretty useful against the Long Dead Chaff. Uh, they have a pretty hard time breaking it. And if we are able to even, if we're able to gateway in this group, uh, or this Apkali, we've got Will of the Fates, Mass Regeneration, Guy's Blessing, etc. We don't really have a lot of other casters there with which to do anything. The issue is, is gatewaying all of these units from Ur kind of makes it to where Ur is a little um, under under defended. So that's a bit of a problem. Um, so we are are actually moving all of these issues towards Ur as a, an opportunity to kind of like pull back forces and try to uh, reinforce Ur. And that's why we're also doing some um, Nyad Warriors and more Kusarikus and things like that. So, um, In Hallwoods itself, uh, we are also still doing Kusarikus, uh, but we're just mostly preparing and waiting for the fight. So we've got a bunch of quickness that's going to go out. We've got life after death. We've got a lot of our basic spells but what we're not what we don't have is um we don't have our nature spells all here so the only person we have is this apkalu who is coming in 
and I don't think that's gonna be enough. So this is gonna be a very big crapshoot. Have no idea whether or not we're gonna be successful with this um, defense. I am very interested in seeing whether or not he immediately attacks because he might bait me out, right? Um, I don't have that many gems to, to play around with. I can alchemize a lot of my nature gems. Fortunately, I have a fair amount of a uh, bank, but we can see he is continuing to like mobilize forces up through his territory. Um, and he's slowly but surely marching towards us and grinding us down. I say slowly but surely, but it isn't taking that long. Um, probably by turn 200 or so we'll be dead unless we can pull a fast one. But that fast one is not going to be this turn and it's not going to be next turn. So, um, we're going to have to just defend Hall Woods the good old-fashioned way by hoping that we can smash. We basically have no money, right? Every turn we basically have no money. We're, we're trying to get some stuff in Ur, but we can't afford anything else anywhere else. And we're probably not going to be able to afford anything else in a few turns, period. So, fingers crossed. All right, I think that's probably about it for this turn. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.